Hey guys, today I'm doing something really fun. I'm critiquing some art. That's right. That's right, fuckeroonies. I'm, uh, I'm critiquing some art. Archibald, I'd like to request a review of three pieces of fine art by the late Australian painter, Jeffrey Smart. I have attached them below. They are High Sea, 1957, The Ball Game, 1964, and The Picnic 3, 1980. I am a his student. I am a student of art history, and your thoughts would be of great help in my studies. I've sent you 20 US dollars via PayPal. All the best, Harry. So, Harry, what do I think? I love Jeffrey Smart. Uh, I I really love Jeffrey Smart. He's got a very unique style of painting, and uh, I I really um, I can relate to his painting. Like there's many artists out there. You have the impressionists. You have um, portrait painters. But Jeffrey Smart painted scenes in everyday life, and I liked his attention to detail. I like the way he had so many in-jokes, in-jokes in his paintings. And um, I, I really love the colours. He, he always chose, <laughs> well, the, the paintings I've seen, he chose some really wacky colours, had nice... Um, I, I, I liked, I think he, he says a lot more in them than, than meets the eye at first glance. So uh, I've got to... I've got to tell you, I'm a uh, I'm a huge fan of Jeffrey Smart. He he died, he he died about what five or six years ago, and uh, yeah, it, it's it's uh, I I got to be honest with you, um, I really love his art. I really really do. There are just some artists who you look at their stuff and you think, oh yeah yeah he's okay, but Jeffrey Smart. It was more the social commentaries, just the whole way it was done. Uh, I I always found these things very, very... Uh, inqui I just loved the way he did. He had this unique style, unique way. He didn't copy anyone. This was his own way. And the very simple... You know, in some ways, at first glance, just it's a simplistic painting. But then... It's it's done so so cleverly, and it's a little bit of an in joke, and it it, it took elements of real life, and uh, I I got to tell you, it's uh, pretty damn well. So let's let's shoot. We'll just flip cameras, and we'll look at three pieces of art: the high sea, the ball game, and the picnic three. And uh, I'll tell you what I think. But Jeffrey Smart. I love his stuff. I really, really do love his stuff. I, um, I mean, the thing about watches is watches are kind of precious material goods. You know, we all love quick wristwatch check and we're in a pan. And art is kind of just a higher level of of beauty because it's it's more um, a quality painting is 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 even more individualistic. I mean, if you run a batch of watches, but with with uh, a painting, it's 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 a unique one off, and uh, I, I must say, I think I think if I had the money, I'd love to collect fine art, but uh, I think I'll stay with watches. Watches makes me poor enough, poor enough. So let's go and take a look and discuss these masterpieces. Okay, let's take a look at uh, a Jeffrey Smart picture. This one here is High C from nineteen fifty seven. And uh, it's got some classic Jeffrey Smart elements here. It's got a, a painting in the background or a, a scene with a, a woman singing a high C. So th this has got quite a few uh, characteristics of Jeffrey Smart. And um, it's got the woman. It's got the shadow. It's very, very cleverly done. You can... You can... You can you can sort of see this is just not your your average artist. He's kind of um, he's sort of making the the art part of the the current, and um, I think he's done a great job. This is a classic picture, which which I really like. Nineteen fifty seven. Um, it's it's <clears throat> this is one of my favorites. I like his. Uh, 
I even like the bosoms of the uh, the model there. I like the uh, slightly larger thighs there. You can see she's got a little bit of padding there, but really quite cute. Uh, high C. Um, I I I I love the shadow. I love the way it's got the the red border line with Jeffrey Smart's signature in the the corner. Um, really cleverly done, really cleverly executed, and uh, you you can see why this is an iconic Jeffrey Smart picture. It's uh, I can look at this for hours. You've got the uh, kind of the the moody the moody um, background sky where it's grayish sort of what time is this it's it's um is that the time of the picture this is when she was singing the high sea or this is when she um it is she was actually part of the mansion in the back there so by having the shadow you can see that she's actually singing against the picture so it was a picture she's singing the the high sea against uh really really quite cleverly done and um classic Jeffrey Smart. I even like the way her mouth is opened. Uh, her hands are folded. Very, very tasty MILF. Very, very tasty MILF in this photo. So it's there's a lot of key elements. Even though it's quite a, a simple, simple sketch of the woman, you do get a sexualized version of her because of her her bust. Quite a nice bust there. Um you get a very nice hands, luscious hands, luscious legs, uh, a little bit of padding, which which I quite I quite I quite like myself there. Very cleverly done. So uh, one of my all-time favorites, I must say, one of my favorites. Uh, love this painting. In okay, let's review the second picture. This is uh, 1964, the ball game. Now I love how he's done this. You can't actually see the playing field. We're kind of way down. We're kind of it's like we're kind of walking past a field. We we don't know who's playing, what's happening. We know there's just human interaction above on the field there, and it, it it's it's very very interesting uh, way he's done it. He's 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 really. I love the layered levels there. We get the the, the feeling of uh, the rising up to the football field there um the ball game it's it's classic very very clever how it's done i like the skyline you got the, the you can almost hear this is one of the things about jeffrey smart is you can almost it's such a simplistic picture but you can almost hear the crowds you can hear these guys skylarking and playing and 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 talking to themselves it's it really captures you and even though you might be on the sidelines, um, it's, it's it's very it's funny how this picture really draws you in to being there. You really feel ah, oh, it, it's it's such a such an unusual perspective. This perspective that he's painted here is very clever. We can't even see who's playing. Is there a crowd? Is there uh, what's the surrounds? Is is there a road? Is there a park? Where where exactly are we? We know it's um, it's it's daytime. It's the blue sky there, but <laughs> we don't know what the audience is like. We don't we don't know a number of factors. Is this just a friendly game in a park? It it's <clears throat> it's it's it leaves a lot of questions open. But a classic Jeffrey Smart key elements there. The fact that we're kind of looking in and. Uh, it brings us to the to the scene much closer than if we we had a conventional painting. So very, I think another very cleverly executed painting. Um, I love this painting. <clears throat> I really do. I love I love the layers. Just how it's done is so clever. It's uh, Jeffrey Smart at his at his best in many ways. And finally, let's have a look at the, the last picture, 1980, The Picnic 3. And uh, it's quite interesting. The Picnic was, a, was, an, was another painting. This is Picnic, the third one in the, of, in the series. And 
Very interesting. Very interesting. When you compare the Picnic 3 to Picnic 1, you can see it's it's a different time period. The trees are slightly different. The uh, There's people in Picnic 1, I believe. Um, very clever <clears throat> how he's done this. We've got this, uh, what is it, like a water tower or is it a spaceship? What is it exactly? We, 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 don't, we don't know. We just know we've got a, a bush setting with this. Could be a water tower. It could be a UFO. It could be anything. It draws us in. And it's, it's what it doesn't tell you which makes us ask the question. And uh, I think beautifully executed, very clever painting, uh, simplistic, uh, but very, 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 it, it, it makes you ask more questions than it answers. And uh, typical Jeffrey, Jeffrey Smart style. Um, I must say, it's, um, this is another one of my favorites. These, these are, all three of these paintings are, are classic paintings from Jeffrey Smart. And uh, I got to say, amazing, amazing artist, amazing artist indeed. And uh, I love his stuff. I really do love his stuff. And I, and I got to say myself, what, what do I think of Jeffrey Smart? I love his art. I really do love his art. I love his simplistic approach, but it's, it's kind of making a social commentary. It's, it, um, I think a very, very skilled artist. And, uh, I, I love his zaniness. I love his individualism. I love everything he does. So uh, from the Archie Luxury Channel, <clears throat> i got to tell you, uh, Jeffrey Smart, I, uh, I think these are great. Unfortunately, he, uh, he passed away. I think he passed away in 2012. But um, amazing artist. Um, I, I get his sense of humor. I love it. I love it. So there you go. Archie Luxury reviewing fine art tell me what you guys tell me what you guys think of that i'm only signing it because it costs nothing <laughs> so this is the congratulations to everybody Guys, it's really dishonest to jump into bed with garbage. It's really dishonest. It's really dishonest. I mean, I, I've been approached hundreds of times by shitter brands. I said no. I said no. No shitters. No shitters. So just remember that when you're picking your YouTube gurus, don't always go for the one who everything's wonderful, everything's great. Because it ain't the case. It ain't all fucking wonderful. Oh, and don't forget, fucker Roonies, like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends. And don't forget to mention the Archie Luxury Travel Channel. That's where I'm doing live shows, fuckers. Yeah.